Hey Busters, welcome back to another Digimon card game video. So today is day 8 and our final day of my Double Diamond Daily 3 series. So hopefully we'll get something good on our last day. You know, in which case, I mean White Omegamon. If not, you know, one of these guys would definitely be cool. But yeah, hopefully... Um, if I'm lucky, if I can find another box, I definitely might, you know, pick it up. Although, uh, I do want to buy one more just for collection purposes. I might keep it sealed. However, you know, the fact that knowing, you know, if you keep a sealed box of these, and you can have a $1,500 card in there, is pretty tempting. But yeah. So, let's see what we got today. Today, we got Dagomon, a 637, with the effect of, upon evolution, uh, what is it? Oh, uh, bounce one opponent Digimon, uh, level 4 or lower Digimon, with no evolution origins under it, back to their hand. Bit hard to use. But still, if you can do it, not terrible. But definitely better options. Ooh, Chikudimon is a great security level 3 Digimon. It's a 301 with security effect of, when it's checked as a security, devolve one opponent Digimon. So, really good. Um, for black decks, definitely all black decks I think will run this because there's no point. I mean, shh. except for Toy Agumon to give um, Saikido a restart. There's nothing else that the level 3s really offer. So this is a great choice for all black decks, in my opinion. Barukimon, a 425 with the effect of when played for its 4 cost, if you have 3 or less uh, security, draw 2. Mm, it's okay, I guess. I mean, it's only 4 cost, not terrible. But honestly, I feel like there's better options, and yellow never really needed much drawing power. So 639 vanilla level 5. Felismon, Ferrismon. Always didn't really like that art. Doesn't look very Digimon-y. Sure, it has like a couple belts and stuff, but it's not very Digimon-y. Still, 9,000 DP for a level 5. Pretty good. Our uncommon is Wizardmon, a 424 with the EOE of on your turn, once per turn, when your security is decreased, gain one memory, so it combos well with Unismon and all the other ones and our rare super rare is white omega Man. nope it's Ooh, okay okay really happy with this awesome card hikaru and hakeru it's a four cost uh tamer great effect of when you have less specifically this is one of the few times uh it specifically states when you have a less than your opponent not equal to or less exactly when you have less security than your opponent plus two memory easily done with yellow and i just I don't really care about the first one. I love that second one. Honestly, I would love it if it had like a two cost and just that option. Maybe a bit too powerful. I think three, I'd still run it. Um, when your yellow Digimon attacks, rest this tamer and give one opponent Digimon minus 1000 DP. So it really goes well with my uh, DP reduction deck. You know, because I love DP reduction because, you know, you can just kind of like split the damage any way you want. So. But yeah, so finally, I'm really happy with that. Come on, White Omega Man. Or even not, just like a nice super rare to end off our series would be pretty good. We got level 4 Eos Mon, a 424 with the effect of when you play it, you may play a white uh, tamer that costs 4 or less from your hand. And then afterwards, your opponent may do the same. However, they can play any tamer card from their hand, cost free, onto the field with an EOE of when you attack. Same as before, you may play a level 4 white tamer onto the field, cost free, and evolves from a green source, so it's pretty good. Uh, definitely, if you run Eosmon, you'd probably definitely run it, you know. We got Forbidden Trident, a 1 cost uh, option card with the effect of give one of your Digimon plus 2000 DP, as well as the effect of when it attacks, Return one opponent level 3 Digimon to their hand, discarding any evolution origins underneath. And security effect of adding it to your hand. Decent. I mean, overall, uh, balance-wise, for one cost, it's pretty strong. However, just, you wouldn't really waste slots for it. Next, we got Mammon, Mammothmon, 536 for level 5, so really good. I think generally, for the most part, uh, that's not true, I guess, um, like... The best co low cost would be for level 3s, 2 cost, and then it slowly goes up. Level 4 would be 3, and level 5s is 5, it's good. Um, it, the trade-off is extra 
uh, evil cost, but you get an EOE of on either player's turn if you while you have three or less security plus 1000 DP. So it goes great with the what is it? Uh, Skull Mammothmon to boost it up. It's a DP as since it's a blocker. Next we got Boogiemon. Boogiemon. I think I, now that I think about it, Boogiemon might have I might have mispronounced his name all this time. <laughs> now that I look at Boogie, yeah, it's Boogiemon, like Oogie Boogie, or the Boogie Monster. Five two seven, level four, Vanilla Digimon. Yeah, it's pretty good actually. Good for a beatdown. Uh, two cost seven, not bad. Our uncommon is Pommon, Pommon, Po Po Pomu. I'm not sure what poem really is, but it's a 315, level 3, so uh, this is the, you know, high DP, but only one. The other trade-off for a 5,000 DP level 3 would be a 2-2, two, two, so. And the rare, super rare is white. Oh! Oh! Agumon, Bonds of Courage. Nice, nice, nice. So we ended it off strong, Busters. I mean, we still got one more pack, but still. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I'm just going to sleeve this up, but nice. All right. Uh, currently, I think on the mar market, um, Gabumon, Bonds of Friendship, is actually the more desirable one. It's uh, more expensive, only about like a dollar. I think this is more like six-ish, and Gabumon's more like seven. Maybe six to seven, that one's six to seven to eight. Depending on source, could be lower, could be higher. Uh, but yeah, but personally, I do like this one better. It goes, if I had to pull one, I definitely like this one because it goes, I could actually use this in my aggro red deck. So it's a 14 3 14 because it's a level 7 with the effect of when you attack, if you have a uh, tamer, destroy one opponent Digimon with 13,000 DP or less. So in other words, you're destroying any opponent level 6 or lower. And then it also has the effect of on your turn, once per turn, if you destroy an opponent Digimon, it doesn't matter how, through battle or effect, uh, you may uh, discard one opponent's security. Just discard it, so no activating it. So it's really good. So yeah, uh, the combo is, you know, you, you, you run the Agumon from this set, evolve into this by skipping the level, you know, pay cost. The combo, it, the Agumon gives security attack plus one, effectively making this a three card checker, right? Discard one, use the effect, discard one, and then hit for two. So, really good card. Um, yeah. Because my aggro deck actually never evolves, because I don't like it evolving. But if I can run more of these, if... I mean, granted, I only got one. So, if I maybe buy some singles or manage to pull another one, um, it might be a really good card to run in my uh, aggro deck. However, actually, it's true. Specifically because um, the new Taichi... It just says Agumon. Doesn't matter what uh, the effect to uh, what is it? Super Evolve Choshinka um, isn't limited to the Agumon, but the Tamer. So so long as I can get that Tamer out. Mm. In other words, I should run the Booster One to really search out that Tamer. So hmm, worth thinking about. Next we got Nanimon for our next set. It's a or pack. It's a three two two with the great effect of security effect. It's a security Digimon. So every flip it, boom, play it. So. Kind of, this one's kind of eh, but worth the trade-off, I think. You know, play for three cost. You might not want, not want to evolve, but worth the uh, extra one cost for Evo or lack of EOE in order to just get it played out if it gets checked. So, in my opinion, it's worth running. Although, you, some, may, some people might say, ah, I'd rather this, you'd rather get Shade Mon as a blocker. So, it's really up to uh, your play style. Ooh, Eldoradimon. A 12-4-12 level 6 green Digimon with the just passive of security attack plus 1. And on your opponent's turn, this Digimon's DP cannot be reduced. So, at like a hard counter against yellow decks. Especially since they have yellow has no destruction cards. It's an absolute beast against yellow. Next we got... What, I can't, what is it? Muru, Murumuxmon. Murumuxmon. 11-3-10 with the effect of Michizure, drag down, I think, what was it, retaliation, I think, death touch, whatever you want to call it, eye for eye, you know, when it dies, takes whoever attacked it with it, with the effect of when it, when this Digimon is destroyed from your trash, if you have 10 or more cards in your trash, uh, you may play a Onyxmon, 
Onismon, I guess. Onismon from your trash onto the field, uh, free of cost. Onismon is a level 6, I think, with security attack plus 1, 12,000 DP, and the effect of one blade, destroy one opponent level 5. So, combos pretty well. Although you do have to let it die, but still, lots of purple cards can destroy your own Digimon. So, Next, we got Megidramon. Or is it Megidramon? Yeah, Megidramon, sorry. Megidramon. Uh, it's a 6337 from black or red with the effect of on your turn this Digimon also counts as a black Digimon. G goes great with uh, Legend Arms or Three Musketeers. And unlike Giga Dramon, who gives 2000 on your opponent's turn, this one gives you 2000 on your turn. Our uncommon is Bukumon, a nostalgic Digimon, the Blowfish. It's 11311 with the effect of Digiburst 2. Funny enough, I think this is the only Digimon with Digiburst in the set. I wonder if they're trying to move away from that mechanic or they're just kind of like trimming it down a bit. But Digiburst 2 with a really good actually. Um, during this turn, all of your Digimon cannot be blocked. So this is a great finisher card, you know. So actually, could you combo? I mean, unfortunately, it costs three. However, it's a main. So if you did evolve or evolve this in your uh, raising area and just keep it there and then just spam the field, once you move it, if you play, say, like, uh, Let's Stop Fighting. The option card that just pretty much no Digimon may be destroyed in uh, through battle. Actually, you don't even need that really. Just do this and then just keep hitting it and get all your hits in. So, and our final rare super rare is Koshiro and Joe for black. So it's a four cost tamer with the effect of pretty easy actually. When if your opponent has two or more Digimon plus two memory, easy gains, and the effect of on your opponent's turn. When one of your black Digimon is destroyed, rest this tamer to draw one. So in other words, I think um, this card is supposed to combo with, uh, what is it? Volcanic, Pal Volcanic Mon. In other words, I think this is pretty much, they're trying to uh, push a deck for black being like, hey, throw down, a, uh, throw down blockers and then block. If it dies, it's fine. Draw one, draw another blocker and keep it up. So, and gain some memory through it. So pretty good, decent card because, you know, um, the fact is, and the uh, was it surveys Bandai did like address the fact that they know that black is currently really weak. Green and yellow were a bit strong, so that's why green has been getting less support, and yellow has been getting a bit less. They're trying to push uh, red and blue back up in the air, as well as purple, and they haven't really found a sweet spot for black yet. I think that's why they're trying to put in that decoy mechanic to see if that's gonna go over well. Currently, it doesn't seem. Yeah, we'll have to see. I think in the current meta, it would do well, given all the different destruction options. And, you know, so you have blockers to block and then decoy to protect it from opponent's effects. So there's always that. But yeah, Busters, um, that's it for our, what is it? Uh, daily three double diamond series, you know? If you guys stuck around for all eight days, we greatly appreciate it and hope you guys enjoyed this. You know, I'm really happy we ended on a high note with the uh, Bonds of Courage. But yeah, um, in terms of Digimon videos, I'll think about maybe posting some more, um, what is it, uh, deck reviews, you know, with the current meta or just what I'm running right now. I don't really know. If you guys have any um, preferences, let me know down in the comment section below. And, you know, greatly appreciate that. But um, that's pretty much it. And hope to see you guys again when there's more Digimon news or I buy some more packs. As always, this is Buster Kun here. Off, because he's a little buster.